Hi, I'm Dr. Christian Seltzer. I'm the founder and president of the Convergence Initiative. And during the last three years, I've been also co-teaching a course that we co-designed with Professor Bettina Forget, the course Convergence, Art, Neuroscience, and Society. This course is offered at the Faculty of Fine Arts of Concordia University. Today I'm here to talk a little bit about our fourth iteration that will start to happen in September 2020 of this year and will extend to April of 2021. Hello, my name is Bettina Forger. I'm the other half of the creative duo that is teaching the course Convergence, Art, Neuroscience and Society. Christian is going to take care more of the neuroscience part of the course and the science communication. And my research focuses on the art science intersection and I'm trained in the visual arts. The course is direct to any student from the Faculty of Fine Arts of Concordia University, graduate students or undergraduate students that would like to take this course. It is also directed to McGill students from PhD uh, programs related to science, particularly students from the integrated program in neuroscience. The course is also directed to trainees from the Brain Repair and Integrated Program in Neuroscience, Brain Program, of the Research Institute of the McGill University Health Center. If you are an art student, interested in enrolling in the Convergence course, will you need any neuroscience knowledge? You do not. We do not expect you to arrive here with a medical degree. However, it will help if you have an interest in science and if you're willing to learn all about the brain. In the first semester, Christian will provide you with knowledge in the form of neuroscience lectures. So by the end of the first term, you will know enough that you can comfortably discuss uh, neuroscience research with your fellow students who are uh, the neuroscience PhDs from McGill. If you are one of those neuroscience students from McGill, will you need any artistic talent? Well, it helps, but again, we do not expect you to show up with a portfolio of work but you will need a willingness to learn and uh, you know, pick up some artistic flair so that you can comfortably talk to your peers from Concordia University who are in the arts. So that kind of shared interest is the basis of the collaboration, which will happen in the second semester. The course is an interdisciplinary course that is looking to explore the intersection of art neuroscience and society, and how these domains shape our society and ourselves. Convergence is a two semester course, so that means you're committing to an entire academic year. The first semester is really geared to knowledge production and to make sure that the artists and the scientists speak the same language. That means you will be learning about neuroscience, about art theory, art history, the philosophy of science, and that way you will share uh, the same vocabulary because you will need that in the second semester when you start to collaborate and start to create an artwork that reflects on neuroscience. As conversion students, you're very much in charge of your own learning and creativity. You will self-organize into teams based on your research interests. That means that in the first year, you're going to spend a lot of time getting to know each other and sharing projects and giving each other presentations about what it is you're doing. Based on that, you will then self-organize and form groups that are based on those shared interests. That means that at the end of the first semester, you will give Christian and me a proposal about what it is you're planning to do in the second semester. The second semester start with us visiting places where science is performed. So we will do site visits, we will go to labs, we will go also to visit places where art is made. So we will go to visit the studios and places where contemporary uh, art is being uh, showcased and produced today here in Montreal. So when you have the both perspective and how art and science work in the modern world, the rest of the semester will be for you to develop and produce the artwork that will be based in the science aspect of your team, 
that will be answering questions from the fine arts aspect of your team. So this work will be presented at the end of the semester. We will have during all the semester uh, meetings one-on-one -on -one to discuss the advances. And at the end, we will have a final critique. One of the amazing things of the Convergence course is that you'll be able to present your work to the general public. That's in the form of an art exhibition and a science symposium. At the art exhibition, you'll be presenting the work that you did during the second semester. Those are the collaborative artworks that you've been working on. We've had artworks that were visual art, um, installation art, computational art, we had a choreography, we had music pieces. So the kind of medium that you choose is very much up to you. We do welcome students from all the disciplines of the arts, including dance and theater, studio arts, computational arts, music. So if your interest is in the arts as well as in the sciences, specifically neuroscience, please consider signing up to this particular course. If you would like to see examples of what our previous cohorts have done, I invite you to visit the Convergence website where we have catalogs of the last exhibitions. In fact, I strongly encourage you to visit our website to give you an idea of the kind of artworks that the students have been creating. For the scientists, the last part is a science symposium where you will show and talk about your science, what you are doing in the lab, but using a non-traditional method learned during the time that you have been spent in the class of science communication. If you have further questions, we are scheduling right now a couple of sessions to describe uh, and answer this question via Zoom. So stay tuned, we will soon be posting the dates and we could have a conversation one-on-one -on -one uh, using this format. So in the meantime, most of the information will be in our webpage, uh, www.convergenceinitiative.org. I hope that you will join us for the next edition of Convergence Arts, Neuroscience and Society. It will be our fourth time that we're teaching this course. It has been an absolutely wonderful experience uh, for Christian and me. And I think for the students as well, we had a lot of good comments. And what is wonderful to see is that many of the teams continue to collaborate, work together and create art even after the course is over. So I think that is a testament to what can be learned and achieved during this course. If you have any questions about the course, feel free to visit our website and click on the contact us link or just email us at info at convergenceinitiative.org. See you soon. Thank you so much and have a great day.